Hey everybody. I keep forgetting to say this every week. I've recorded the last three episodes and keep forgetting to say. But if you'd like to, you can check us out on Facebook. I started a Facebook page for the Cutler's Antiques. I figured that would be a little bit easier way for people to be able to contact us if you've got a question about something. Just a, another resource other than just the uh, comment section on YouTube. So if you want to check us out, once I start getting a few people liking the page, I'll probably start posting pictures of any projects we're working on. Each week I'll post the link to the newest uploaded video on there. And just any fun little things I see or come across, I might snap a picture and post on there. So check us out on uh, Facebook at Cutler's Antiques. It should be easy to find. Good morning, folks. We're back out of Dad's shop today, and I'm going to be making a video. I've got a lantern to unbox here that I bought on eBay. But before I do that, I'm going to get this lantern out. This one has been in one of my videos before when I got it and got it running at home. This is the one that my wife got me for Christmas last year. And she got it for me because it's my birthday lantern. It's uh, June of 1979. And today is my birthday. So I figured I'll bring my birthday lantern out here and light it up first. Then I'll open that other box up. Still got pressure in it. I haven't, yeah, I haven't had a burden since she got it for me. I opened it early. I opened it like the second or third week of December because she wanted to open it up and make sure it was okay when we got I'll put it. A link to the video of this lantern in the description of the video I'm making today. And that that was one of my Christmas presents from my wife last year. That should be enough. Using up some more of the vintage camp fuel from last week's video. I'll just keep using it for everything until we run it empty. Then it can go up on the shelf with the rest of the empty cans. And we'll pump this up, light this, and we'll have this burning while we're unboxing the other package that I got off eBay. Got so much junk sitting on the toolbox, I'm going to need to set it back there. Yeah, these 275s have got tiny little lighting holes. You can't get any kind of lighter up in there. We'll see if it'll... And they got a weird mechanism for the tip cleaner too. You gotta turn the valve back off to run the tip cleaner on them. Oh, come on. There we go. Now it's hissing a little bit louder. It's kind of weird to run the tip cleaner. You have to shut the lantern clear back off, so. Well, that wasn't too bad. It took a few tries to get it going, but it's been sitting since last December, so it's been over six months. It's pretty cold today, too. Yeah, it's only about... 90? <laughs> Probably 85. Yeah, I'm going to try to cycle that tip cleaner one more time without it going out. There we go. We'll move that one off to the side here, leave it where it's just in the corner of the shot. And we'll start to open up the other package that I got. I bought this off of eBay. It's a lantern that we didn't have one of in our collection yet, and for some reason, nobody was bidding on it. 
So I ended up getting it cheap. I didn't hear anything tinkling in there. Yeah. I don't hear anything. That's a good sign. The box is a little banged up, but it might have been a little banged up when they put the stuff in it. Now, this corner's a little worse for the wear, it looks like. The lantern is in a case, and I bought the whole everything for about half the price of what the case would cost. So, And I'll show you when I get it out exactly why I bought it so cheap because I think I know why no one was wanting to bid on it. Yeah, here. Let's move that back a little bit again. I set it right up here. I think I know what was stopping people from bidding on it. Got mantles for it in here. It is a Coleman North Star propane lantern. And I left home and didn't grab a propane cylinder. So take a green one? Yeah, one of the short green ones. It's got the base with it. Case is decent shape. It all needs clean. But I think what was keeping people from bidding on it was that. that they showed really well that there's something all over the top of that vent. I don't know if it was... Well, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's plastic. There's something that kind of looks like plastic. If you look on the vent nut right there, it kind of looks like plastic. So like something... The lantern was hot. Something got on the top of it and melted on there. And I don't know if I'll be able to clean it off or not. My guess is it won't affect the way the lantern burns, but it just looks kind of cruddy on there, and I think that's what kept anybody from bidding on this lantern. I pull out to come out of there, or what? But we did not have a North Star Lantern in our collection yet. And I usually watch for the stuff that nobody else wants that I could buy real cheap. And this fell into that category. Well, I don't know how in the heck that comes apart. Excuse you, Leo. Well, uh, I'll get the camera in here a little closer. The little rivet there is seized on the handle. The handle doesn't want to slide out of the rivet, so I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver or something and try to pop that apart. Here's a little, little bitty screwdriver right here. There's Willis with a propane cylinder. So if we get this thing to the point where we can try to light it, we'll have some propane to burn in it. I don't know. I don't know what is going on here with this. All right, I'll pause the camera for a minute until I get this pulled apart. Okay, I got it apart. These rivets in there are pretty loose. So I think before I put it back together, I'll try to peen those over a little bit so that they stay put a little better. Then after I got it loose and everything was bound up, got it so nothing was binding anymore, I'm pretty sure everything, the whole cage and globe and everything would have just came off in one piece and wouldn't have to take that handle off of there, but that's okay. We took it apart and see how everything goes together on it now. And these are an odd lantern in the fact that their mantle 
clips at the top and at the bottom. So the mantle's like a tube that came with, let's see, that one's not open. That's got two in it, that's got two in it. Well, these are all not open. I thought in the pictures it looked like one of them was open, but it came with six new mantles for it. I bought everything for the price of, well, minus the shipping. Obviously, you gotta pay shipping on stuff from eBay, but the selling price was less than I could have bought three, two packs of mantles for this. So, I did pretty good there. I don't know how well this stuff's gonna clean up on here. I wonder if, we could try heating this up and see if it kind of melts and gets sticky again when you heat it up. Here, I'll just thread this right back on there a few turns. We'll try heating it up a little bit and see if it kind of gets sticky again when you heat it up. Maybe we'll be able to. Dad was asking if we thought maybe some lacquer thinner or something on there, but it, it is pretty hard on there, and I don't know if it damaged the porcelain coating underneath. It seems like the porcelain's pretty thin on that. Let's try heating this up just a little bit and see what it does. Well, it's burning, so it definitely is some kind of plastic or something that got melted on there. No, oh, it definitely softens up. Once it's hot, it almost turned to liquid there. So I don't know if we can heat it up and try to maybe get some coarse steel wool or... Or a wire brush. I got a little fine wire brush over here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe you got one with brass bristles on it? Yeah. Yeah, that might work. Something that won't scratch up the... Oh, Dad went ahead and threw that on the floor for me. Yeah. yeah, but something that won't scratch up the finish, but might be aggressive enough to take that off of there. I have never had one of these lanterns, the North Star lanterns. But people say that they are really, really bright when they're burning. Willis is running around getting Leo all riled up here. And Leo is already ate the bone, I think. Okay, let's see what this does on that. Yeah, let's heat it up a little bit more again. It's kind of cooled off now, but I think that might work. I just wonder how well it will clean off of the porcelain or if it's done any damage to the porcelain. I've seen other lanterns before that the uh, top had plastic bag or something yep. melted to it. Leo, you are not a lap dog. At least today. I already tried getting him on my laps. We ain't gonna bother him on that. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with that. You want him down? Well, it is coming off. Yeah. You gotta get it pretty hot, but just that little bit. I got 90% of that cleaned off of there. Now I have to decide whether I want to just get the lantern going and set that vent on there and see if oh. that heats it up enough. I bet it will. Well, it heated it up enough to melt it on there in the first place, so. Yep. That might be the way to go. Okay. Well, I think 
that's going to be my game plan. We're going to try to get this going, and then I will just, I won't bolt anything together yet. We'll set it all together with the globe and the cage on it, and then I will just set this on the top, let it heat up for a couple minutes, and when it starts getting to where it seems like it's going to flake off of there with that brass bristle brush, brass bristle brush, yeah. and it seems like it's going to come off of there, then we'll, I'll get a pair of pliers or something, get a hold of this, and we'll set it back down here on the bench where I can scrub on it and try to yeah, there's a rag right here or something. get it off of there. Now, I don't know what it is. Ooh. There's not a lot of propane in there, but there's oh, some left. We're emptying out my tank. That uh, base somehow got a little, little jolly whopped at some point. I don't know if I'll be able to get that back to where it'll set flat or not. Probably just break. I might be able to get it at home and just set it on a flat bench and set something on top of it mm -hmm. so it holds it down flat and just leave it for a few weeks and it might come around. Okay, let's see if we hear anything when we crack the valve. Oh yeah, when you push it in, I can hear it. And let's see, these mantles have a metal clip at the top and the bottom, and all the ones that came with it are Insta clips, and the ones that I looked at online are Insta clips, so I don't know if they ever even made a string tie mantle that was the tube mantle for that. I'm guessing they probably did, and I'm guessing if you looked, you probably could still find them, but I'm also guessing that six mantles are probably gonna last me a long, long time. I don't think so. Mantle? I think it'll last you three days. Three days? I hope it lasts longer than that. I only, we'll be using one at a time on it. Now these have a little plastic thing to help get it on there and then you pull the plastic thing off of there. I have not used any of the new Instaclip mantles so I really don't know exactly how these are going to go on there. But I think they just I've never seen that kind of a mantle before. No, I have, this is the only thing that I know of that takes them. Whoops, well there, I already, already pulled the plastic piece off of there, so we're doing good. Probably get by without that. We're off to a good start. I wanted to get this. Oh, geez, maybe there's a top and a bottom on this. No, they look the same diameter. Maybe I should read the directions. I never thought about that. Uh, keep hot lantern away from all flames. Don't overheat lantern by using it with a hole in the mantle. So there's no written instructions of how to put it on there, but there's three pictures that really do a good job of explaining the whole process. Apparently you're supposed to put it over there and then pull the plastic off. But, no, I just did the same thing. Plastic came off before I even got it over. The bottom one was a little bit easier to get in there because it, uh, 
was already hanging in place from the top one, so I wasn't trying to line it all up and everything. Now, I also don't know, but I just assume you just burn this in just like a regular Coleman lantern mantle, so I'm gonna set our little torch to where you got a flame like that and we'll just try burning it in just like a normal lantern, lantern mantle see what it does I assume once we light it it's gonna fill out a little bit I don't know but we'll give it a minute let it burn in most of the mantle till it's white and then we'll see what happens when we try to light it the rest of my yeah there's no real storage compartment really in here I'll put the rest of those mantles up in my lantern toolbox anyway so okay it's kind of shrinking up a little bit as it goes here I don't know I don't understand how that could not end up with holes in it if it moves after it's been burned in maybe you're not supposed to burn this in maybe you're just supposed to light it on there but that doesn't seem quite normal either okay my battery lights blinking on the camera so I'm gonna pause the camera let that mantle burn for another minute stick a new battery in there and then we'll be back Okay, Dad's back cleaning the glass. He just took it back to the sink to clean it up a little bit. I think I'll go ahead and set the cage back down in there. There's, oh, there is. Yeah, there's little places that it clips into to hold it right because it was all kind of jolly whopped in there. Leo, what are you chewing on? A tin can, that figures. And, you gotta find the noisiest thing that there is in the shop. Oh, that wasn't even Leo chewing on it. That was Dad kicking the tin can around. No, <laughs> Blaming Leo for stuff that he, he wasn't was even doing. Chasing me. He was thinking of it. Yeah, yeah it's got a burnt spot on the glass, doesn't it? Yep, it does. Yep, somebody burned it with a hole in the mantle and scorched the glass. I don't know if a spot like that could be cleaned back out of there or not. That piece of steel won't like cut it. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like it's getting some of it anyway. I'll bet it won't take it all, but that steel wool's got something in it. So. Yeah, it just jumped off of that chair onto you. Hmm, yeah, I got most of it. You can still see where it was but that got most of it out of there so yeah i think i'm gonna just set that back in there i'm gonna light this yeah. if it lights and then we'll just set this on there let it heat up for a couple minutes and then we'll pull it back off set it on the bench and take this brush and try to see if we can get some of that to scrape off of there There is a lighting hole there, but holy cow, that's not a very convenient lighting hole. I don't know if I can get any flame up through there or not. Get some fireplace matches. Well, I can get the flame of this to go up through there, but I gotta get it where I can turn the knob too. That isn't worth a darn. Get the lighter. Well, the lighter won't fit in there either, buddy. The, they got a tiny little lighting hole in the bottom of it, so. 
This will go up in there. Oh, come on. There we go. We can't push the knob in and turn it at the same time. That is bright. Whew, it is bright. Sure the people that said they're bright, they weren't kidding. Turning the knob where it shows brighter or dimmer doesn't seem to do much of anything. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, that is very bright. Set that on there for a couple minutes. I'm guessing when I started heating up that nut, it started smoking pretty quick, so I'll bet we'll start getting some smoke out of the stuff on top of there but it's definitely bright it hurts my eyes yeah, it's pretty Gosh dang, that is crazy bright. You look at that, and it makes my other ones burning normal like a regular Pullman lantern seem dim. Grabbed a razor blade too, it might be helpful to be able to scrape some of that stuff off of there with a the razor blade. starting to get gummy we'll give it just another minute and I'll get a pair of pliers here to pick it up and set it down on the table with yeah that knob that's supposed to adjust it from bright to dim doesn't adjust it from anything to anything it's just going for it I guess that works. Slide this over out of the way. And then I have to bring it back over here and heat it up again as it starts to cool off. Let's see what this does. Oh heck, that's that's actually working pretty well. That stuff splattering off of there is hot though. But that's not working too bad, and I don't think the brass bristles of this are gonna hurt the porcelain. It's hot, even through that towel. Yeah. A lot of it came off already. So let's that pretty good. bring this sucker back over here. God dang, that's bright. There's no good way to, well that works, to get a good hold on that either. Set it back down on there, give it another minute, and then we'll hit it again. Okay, I got, actually, maybe we'll do that right here on the corner of the table. We'll Just have you hold that there and get we'll another hammer. But yeah, I got the top of this cleaned up. It actually came off pretty good. Razor blade took it off of there pretty darn good. Hold it up here so you can see. I mean, that's good enough. It's a used lantern, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but these rivets are very loose in there, and I don't really like that. Unless, I wonder if those rivets are supposed to go clear through the bale on the top of that thing. I doubt it. Put that 
like that and try it. Yeah, tap it a couple taps and see what it does. Yeah. Enough to do it. Actually. There we go. That's good enough. I got those tightened up pretty good. Uh oh. That one. All but went out almost there. I must have shook a, shook a chunk of something out of the generator of it when I was beating on that. Okay, well, let's put this back together now. Actually, I think I'll just shut it off. The mantle did straighten out quite a bit. Yeah, that's surprising. That is, that's a weird setup, that's for sure. All right, so let's put this back on there. Oh, everything is hot and it's getting too hot to touch real darn quick. Whoops. Now, this bale I think I would want to have it go the bales directional on these, so it's got a bend to it, so when it goes down, it'll fold straight down, so I think I want to have it go with the bend that way, so when it comes down, it'll kind of wrap around the back and be out of the way of the handle, so that's the way I need the bale to go in there. There we go. I'll let that fold right down there. Put my little vent nut back on there. residual heat coming out of that vent's too hot to touch again already and it's not even been burning all right so i'm going to try just getting lighter flame here let me see if i can do it here with one hand this is a i think if i just push that in like that there we go it'll light then i can let go of it and turn the knob so that's not so bad once you figure out how to do it there we go oh. Yeah, it definitely doesn't adjust brighter or dimmer. That doesn't seem to be making any difference whatsoever, but it burns bright. That is for sure. If you need a bright lantern, that would do it. And here's my birthday lantern, my Coleman Model 275. I'm pretty sure June of 1979, the only lanterns that Coleman put out was a Model 275. I've not found any 228s or 220s or anything that is a June of 1979 except the Model 275s. And online somebody said, oh, you might find a Canadian model that was made that year, but I've not come across one yet, that's for sure. All right, well, that's going to do it for here at the shop. I will light both of these back up tonight and hang them on the hooks on both sides of my uh, pool at home. So I'll get a shot of this at home in the dark tonight. Okay, folks, we're back at home. It's not super dark yet, but we got storms going to be here in about probably another 15 minutes according to the radar. It's going to be raining, so I'm going to get the North Star shut off and put away. It's been burning out here for about an hour. It's burning good. So I think that's 
pretty decent lantern for the price that I ended up paying for it. Got another one to add to the collection. Another one we didn't have before. So, thanks for watching everybody. If you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button, please do. If you want to help support our channel, the best thing you can do to help support us is when those ads come up, just let them go. I go in and manually remove about half the ads that they suggest for each video. So, if you like the content we're putting out and want to help support us, when those ads come up, just let them roll. We definitely do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Come on back next week. We'll have a video of something here for you to watch.